Use his story for your glory. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Bless you. Hi. How are you doing? Fine. How are you? conditions in which that man was living in that bus stop. I can't even tell you the awful smell from him sitting in his own feces, his own urine. The smell is outrageous. He can't really walk on his, his feet. You saw his feet. You saw what they look like. He could barely, I mean, he can't even walk on them. To go to the CVS bathroom, because right on there, on the corner, right where he was, is near a CVS. To even walk in there to go use their restroom. They probably won't let him in. So he goes out there, right where he's at. This is America. This is an American. How does this happen in America? What if this was you? What if this was you? What if this was you? What if it was your uncle, your brother, your father, your cousin, broken and disabled, living at the bus stop? People driving by multiple times a day, hundreds and thousands daily. And those people include city workers, including the mayor, Buddy Dyer, including the commissioner, Patty Sheehan, including her staff, including his staff, including the police. 
and their staff, everybody that drives up and down that road, they've seen that. But that man has been settled there weeks, months, who knows how long. Sitting there, rotting away. It's a shame that this can happen to somebody right here in America, right here in the city beautiful. The city beautiful has some very nasty secrets. And we've just exposed one of them. This is City Talk, Common Sense Politics, Eyes on Orlando. And I'm your host, Amanya Salas. Thank you very much.